Hi everyone, Teddy Baldessar with teddybaldessar.com. In this video, we're gonna be looking at a watch from Hamilton, a pretty distinctive watch from Hamilton with this dial color, with this intramatic champagne dial, or kind of salmon-like dial, really attractive looking timepiece. So in this video, we'll take a closer look at this timepiece. Also in the description will be more information on the product page, as well as a place to purchase the watch as well on teddybaldessar.com, full authorized dealer of Hamilton watches. And then at the end of this video, also look at just some things to consider when looking in the direction of this timepiece before you purchase. But guys, let's jump into the video and take a closer look at this watch. When it comes to Hamilton, it's a brand that is one of the best entry doors into Swiss mechanical watches, but the majority of the attention from enthusiasts seems to fall on the khaki collection, mostly from those military-inspired field watches like the Khaki Field Mechanical. But Hamilton, having been previously based in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, also has an endearing collection of dress watches inspired by mid 20th century designs from the brand's rich archives with this intramatic auto with a striking champagne colored dial serving as an excellent example of just that. Now where most people look when considering the intramatic collection is going to be the many chronographs in this collection, whether you're looking at the intramatic autos or the new chrono H's that were just unveiled a little bit earlier this year that I also have a review of as well. But the intramatic collection kind of takes those say 60s style elements and then fuses it into more of a dress casual package. With this model here today, probably leaning a bit more into the casual realm as a byproduct of the dial color itself, which really is the star of the show. But let's first start with kind of getting into the details of the wearing experience on this one. So there have been previous iterations of this design family with different case sizes. This one comes in with dimensions measuring at 38 millimeters across the case and only 43.9 millimeters lug to lug. Now the Intramatic also strikes a balance between having some visual presence thanks to the slim bezel, while not overwhelming even the smaller wrists out there, including myself, largely as an effect of those short lugs and compact just overall length of the timepiece. This one though is probably gonna wear closer to a 39 millimeter with that slim bezel along the outside, but still very wearable for a variety of wrists out there. I think this is a very good size for this timepiece. Also in addition to that, we're dealing with a 10.2 millimeter thickness, making this one slide under a ton of dress cuffs. Also we'll have a slightly domed sapphire crystal that's also being factored in here, so it makes it a bit more just impressive in that regard. Also getting some up scratch resistance in the process there and still manages to give off that kind of vintage style with its effort here without giving up compromises of a crystal that would maybe take on some more scratches. Turning our attention to the case itself, we were treated with a charmingly vintage layout in terms of case architecture with short angular lugs that angle sharply down towards the central case. In terms of finishing, the Intramatic Auto is polished pretty much everywhere you look, including on the sign push-pull crown, which operates in the typical fashion changing the data to the first position and adjusting the two hands on this watch at the farthest out point. Between the lugs, we do have perhaps the most common lug width for a full-size watch with a 20 millimeter gap, complete with a high quality brown leather strap that closes with a nice pin buckle system. Now in general, I find that Hamilton do a pretty good job with their straps compared to many other brands in this price category. Many of them are workable and they're not as much begging for a third party option, but just given the style of this piece, definitely recommend utilizing to its full capacity. And if you do buy this watch from teddybaldister.com, full authorized dealer of Hamilton watches, add this watch as well as a strap, any strap up to $50 in your cart and just add Hamilton Auto at checkout and you'll get that strap for free. Now, despite a solid build overall, the highlight of this piece in particular is going to be the dial. And with a quick inspection online, I have yet to see any video of this watch yet. This was just released earlier this year. I think we're seeing a lot more of this champagne, really I think champagne or kind of more of like this honey golden type of hue that this one has is probably a better type of description for this one. It does have a subtle textured finish and it is going to have also uh, interesting use of the markers. So slim line markers to mark the hours and are also going to be slightly engraved into the dial with each of the quarter hours marking a bit more of a prominent uh, engraving into the dial surface itself. As a note of this being more of a dressier kind of casual style piece, there is no loom to speak of. Not that that is going to likely be an issue for a watch of this style. Keeping things symmetrical, it does have a date window here at the six o'clock position, which along with the minimal text and the vintage Hamilton wordmark makes for 
an attractive, minimal, and refined overall effect. You are getting the writing of automatic and intramatic on the dial, so maybe a bit of redundancy there, but this is a really clean layout for a dial. I also like that there is an absence of a second hand. It kind of adds a bit more uh, just kind of retro vibes to this with that logo. And I know some people might be against that type of design, but I think it's unique, it's different, and this intramatic collection is very true to the Hamilton DNA, and I think just different overall. So now flipping this watch over, we do have a open case back displaying the ETA 2892A2 inside. Now, if you're familiar with any of Hamilton's other timepieces, you're probably will just be quick to recognize that this is actually a movement that's not often seen in many of their contemporary watches. What you're mostly going to be seeing is their 80-hour power reserve movements, reworking a at a base and then modifying it to reduce the beat rate to get that longer power reserve. So their H10 is an example of this. But the ETA 2892 is a very good movement for the money. Typically, when you're dealing with just an off-the-shelf type of movement in this price range, you're going to be, for at least from Switzerland, I should say, the ETA 2824 is the common one seen here. But the perks of the 2892 is that it is going to be a thinner movement, does have a slightly longer power reserve as well, and is going to be used in a lot of higher-end watches as a base. Breitling, as an example, is using this quite frequently. Uh, Omega in the past as well was using the ETA 2892 very commonly in many of their watches in the past as well. So this is a very good movement, offers a lot of flexibility, and it really does create some possibilities for this watch as well with uh, being a little bit thinner on the wrist, which this watch is, and then also getting you know a nice little view on the back. If you are trying to deal with $800, $845 for this watch, this is a very good movement to be having in this timepiece. Uh, on the flip side, you're not going to be getting the longest of power reserves. So depending on where you look, 42 to 50 hours for a power reserve here, this is going to be operating compared to the 80 hour power reserve movements at a higher beat rate of 28,800 vibrations per hour. So uh, if there was a second hand, a cleaner sweep, so four hertz here. This one does feature hand winding as well. But another point of consideration here as well is going to be uh, that this one does have traditional just regulator neck. So you can adjust this one and fine tune it yourself with a bit more ease compared to the uh, 80 hour power reserve movements, which are going to be laser regulated at the factory. So that could be an upside. Uh, but regardless, very good movement. Nice to be seeing it at a 28. 92 inside of here as you're typically going to be seeing an ETA 2824 but the thinness on this as well as that nice power reserve boost is making this a really nice movement you're going to find for the money here. All right so now that we've taken a look at this timepiece let's just kind of break down some of the points of consideration. Now perhaps why not to buy this watch? I think for the mass appealing public sports watches and then maybe even when looking at Hamilton this isn't perhaps the most iconic of designs from the brand but still is very true to the DNA but I think maybe somebody that's just getting into the brand this might be a bit more off the beaten path than say the traditional khaki field but also you could use that as on the flip side something that's a little bit less expected and this watch truly is very unique in regards to what it's doing with that dial very sharp in terms of it under the macro lens here also with this particular dial that is going Going to be a bit different it is going to allow it to probably walk a bit more of the line from a casual and dressy environment depending on the strap that you pair with it in addition the 2892a2 is frankly a great and proven third-party movement and has been featured in many watches multiples of the price uh, and this one being at under a thousand dollars makes this even more of an attractive offer but at the end of the day i think the reason why you go for this watch is if you want a no-nonsense movement you want to maybe get into the brand of hamilton or want something a bit different than the khaki collection want something that can also maintain the casual and dressy without leaning into either direction too strongly and getting quite frankly a really sharp looking dial that is distinctive and different compared to what you're going to see in this price range i think those are the reasons why you look in the direction of this watch all right guys well thank you again so so much for watching if you did enjoy this video thumbs up subscribe and hit the bell icon also if you're in the market for this watch definitely check out the link in the description to teddybaldister.com full authorized dealer of all the brands that we carry quick and fast fulfillment dedicated customer service also offer a factory warranty so if something goes wrong you're completely covered we also offer price match so if you see one of our watches for cheaper at another authorized dealer fill out the form on the product page and then we'll give you a call then finally, nine out of every $10 that we generate goes right back in this content that we're creating, trying to foster up a new generation of watch enthusiasts in the process. So guys, thank you again so much for watching. Be well, and I'll see you all very soon.